Hello everyone, the Samsung Galaxy S24 and iPhone 15 Pro are two phones that are probably going to be pretty big competitors to one another. So let's go and see how the 16 Pro and the Galaxy S24 compare. Now, if you want to pick up any one of these phones throughout this whole entire video, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the exact same time. Now, I will definitely tell you between both these phones, there are some pros and cons between both of them. I don't know if there's one that I that's like significantly better in every single way, but I do think there's one that's like a little bit more of a flagship that if you're going to spend the money, if you don't have a bias towards iOS and Android, there might be one that might be a better one for you. So we'll take a look at that throughout this whole entire video. First things first though is the front. The Samsung Galaxy S24 on the front of this particular phone, you're basically getting a 6.2 inch dynamic LTPO AMOLED display. And it's a very good panel, right? I like this panel a lot. It's 1080p. 120 hertz it gets up it gets up to 2600 nits of brightness which is really nice and i definitely do think it's a pretty good looking panel you have the you know whole bunch display at the very top fairly thin puzzles fingerprint sensor built into the display as well and i do think this is a very good phone like if you're going to go through and pick up a device this is a very good looking display and there's not really that much to kind of complain about here in my personal opinion now, on the iPhone 16 Pro side, this phone is giving you basically a 6.1 inch Super Retina LTPO XDR OLED display. So different technology, but kind of the same thing. This is a higher resolution here on the iPhone 16 Pro, but you are getting a few things. One, you're getting Pro Motion, so still 120 hertz, which is really nice. You are getting this dynamic island, which is kind of cool, but I'd rather just take that. No fingerprint sensor in the display. But it does seem to me that there's overall less bezel on this phone than for something like the Galaxy S24, but it's like so close that it's just not even that big of a deal. But both phones are pretty great, but I think the Galaxy S24 might be better. It also gets brighter on the S24. Now for the rest of the bodies, you can kind of see for yourself, you are getting these volume buttons on this as well as the action button on the iPhone 16 Pro, which is actually pretty nice. The Galaxy S24 actually doesn't have that, but the you know iPhone 16 Pro does. On the bottom, USB Type-C ports on both. The Galaxy S24 is giving you that SIM card tray, which is a really nice thing to have. Unfortunately, uh, the iPhone 16 Pro no longer has a SIM card tray, but the, 50, the S24 does, which is cool. On the other side, we have a few more things. So this is where we have our volume button and our side button on our Galaxy S24. We do have our side button, aka power button, on the iPhone 16 Pro, but we also have our camera button on the iPhone 16 Pro as well, which is a really nice you know, feature to have. It's a really cool button. It allows us to go and just configure it out further, just, you know, using it as a camera button, which is really cool. On the back side of both, different types of designs, but kind of the same thing. They're both giving us, you know, triple camera setups, which is really nice. The LiDAR sensor on the 16 Pro, frosted glass backs, so they feel almost identical on both. You're getting wireless charging on both, but the Galaxy S24 is giving you reverse wireless charging, which is such a nice feature to have. Unfortunately, us on the iPhone 16 Pro, we don't have that type of capability, but the iPhone, the Galaxy S24 does have it, which is something that's really, really cool. They're both giving you IP certification, lots of overlapping stuff here for the most part. But I would say from the exterior, there are some reasons why I probably would say that the Galaxy S24 might be the better one here. Like I feel like the display is better and the addition of reverse wireless charging is really nice. But I would still say with the iPhone 16 Pro giving us that camera button as well as that action button, although I'm never really going to use them, it's still a really nice feature to have. And I'm sure a lot of people will end up using those types of features too. So that's kind of how they compare on the outside. In terms of software longevity, this is the one area where these phones probably are more aligned than ever before. So these phones are going to be lasting for a very, very long amount of time. Like these phones pretty much aren't going anywhere anytime soon. They're going to be lasting for like seven years, probably even longer than that. So there's a very high chance where neither one of these phones are going to, you know, you're like, you're going to upgrade from these phones before you even think about getting like these things done with software. So that's kind of how I see it. Now let's go and do speed comparison between both these phones. The iPhone 16 Pro has that Apple 18 Pro chips inside of it with eight gigabytes of RAM. But the Galaxy S24 has that Snapdragon. Galaxy S24 has that Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset inside of it with eight or 12 gigabytes of RAM. This specific model has eight gigabytes of RAM. So let's go see which one's a faster phone between both. Okay, there we go. All the apps are clear in the background. I hate the Samsung Pay thing, it keeps getting in the way. So if we go and click here, okay, all the apps are cleared out. Let's do it. Phone calls, three, two, one. Okay, kind of the same thing. Camera, three, two, one. I think the S24 may have been a little bit faster there. Hopping out of both of these, let's go into their app stores, three, two, one. Now it is gonna be faster here. 
but it's actually very close in the 16 Pro. Historically, iPhones are a little bit slower at opening up their app stores, but that one was actually closer than I originally thought. Hopping out of these two, let's get into some of these other applications, Snapchat 321. Okay, kind of the same thing, not that big of a difference. Let's go into, let's go into Gaming Hub, let's get into some of these games now. Let's go get into Stack 321. So it was pretty instantaneous here. They both have game mode on now too, which is really cool. I do think overall it may have been a little bit faster on the Galaxy S24, but to get into the game outside of the ad, I don't know, actually know if I click on the X button there faster, but pretty much kind of the same thing here too. Let's get into the previous thing. Let's see what else they got. Let's do Snake versus Blocks, three, two, one. And with this one, I think the Galaxy S24 just slightly faster. But it was still very, very similar, but it was just a little tiny bit faster on that particular phone. So you can see right here, kind of the same thing, not anything super crazy. Let's get back to the gaming hub. Let's see, Subway Surfers, which I don't have here still, which is really weird. Thank you, three, two, one. Now with this type of game, there's probably not gonna be anything super, super crazy, but let's go and see. And within both, pretty much kind of the same thing, so not really that big of a difference. Hopping out of both of these, let's get back into here. Temple Run 2, three, two, one. Now again, with this game, I always say it, it's not a complicated game, but I just love messing around with it. And so far from what I'm seeing, the Galaxy S24 is just like slightly outperforming and slightly outbeating the iPhone 16 Pro, just like every once in a while, but there might have been some times where the iPhone 16 Pro was faster. I'll have to wait for like a full on like big, big comparison. But from what I'm seeing, there's not really like anything super insane, both kind of giving me the same type of experience when it kind of comes down to it, so. That kind of covers it up there for the most part. Now from the camera side, this is also something that's very, very interesting. So on the back side, they both are giving you good cameras, triple camera setups. They both are giving you 4K at 60 on the front and the back. The iPhone 16 Pro can do 4K at 120, but the Galaxy S24 can do 8K capability. So it is actually pretty crazy. I think I'd rather prefer the 8K capability, to be honest. I think the Galaxy S24 does kind of win from the you know frame rate resolution stuff that you can kind of film in. Now, with the actual cameras themselves, I just want to kind of compare the features because there are a lot of differences here when it comes down to the feature sets between both these phones. So, for number one, they can take photos and videos. The max zooming in for a photo on the Galaxy on the iPhone 16 Pro is 25x, whereas on the Galaxy S24, it's 30x. So, you are getting a little bit more zooming in inside of something like the iPhone, inside of something like the Galaxy S24 than the iPhone 16 Pro. Between both, you're getting things like video mode. Cinematic mode, you're getting like portrait video, which is kind of the same thing on both. You're getting time lapse here, but inside of the Samsung Galaxy S24 camera, you're getting a lot more of these features built in. Right now on our iPhones, we still don't have the capability of having these, like, like we don't have like a pro mode. We have a Final Cut camera, which is like a cool, like, you know, different, you know, application, but we can't compare those because those don't come natively within the iPhones. Between our stock camera applications, I do think Samsung kind of wins here. I also do think the quality of the photos and videos it's probably going to be overall better inside of something like, an, like a Galaxy S24 than an iPhone 16 Pro. So I still have a few more things to test like battery life and a full speed comparison, but so far from what I've tested, I think the iPhone 16 Pro is a really, really good iPhone, right? I think the build quality is really nice. I think it looks very good. I think it is, you know, having a really good camera. The camera buttons are really nice and the action buttons are really nice. I just don't know if this is a better phone than the Samsung Galaxy S24. There are a few key features I would love to see on my iPhone. Things like reverse wireless charging. I would love to have reverse wireless charging for my iPhone. We have reverse wireless charging, but not reverse wireless charging. I feel like that would be a really big feature Apple should go and implement. Also, I feel like the fingerprint sensor on the display is still a really nice thing. These are things the Galaxy S10 had from 2019, five years ago I'm still talking about, right? I feel like those things should be implemented on our iPhones now. They're still not, but I think both these phones are really good. You can't really go wrong with either one, but that's kind of how both these phones kind of compare. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.